Hello everyone, my name is Natalie Ledwell and this is The Inspiration Show. Today on the show, my special guest is Mr. Brian Ridgway. How are you, Brian? Fantastic. Great to be with you, Natalie. Now, Brian has one of those amazingly inspiring stories um, that is very uh, applicable and appropriate for The Inspiration Show. So why don't we start with that, Brian, and then we're going to get into some really awesome, interesting conversations about how you've been helping hundreds of thousands of people around the world. So let's start with your story first. Oh, well, uh, it's a big one, and I, I've learned a few ways of shortening it down. I, I just basically, I was born to parents that had a lot of anger, tremendously low self-esteem, and that got into me, as it has so many. I've worked with billionaires, and I've worked with homeless people, and I literally see these same themes in almost everybody. It's amazing. And as a result of that low self-esteem, when I started making money uh, in my, really in my late uh, 20s, early 30s, I got into making millions. I generated $161 million in 70 different industries, which sounds nice, sounds impressive, until you hear the flip side, which is that I made and lost my own fortune seven times. And by the seventh time, I'd, I'd spent well over 300000 on that I documented, probably half a million or more on everything I found in self-help, personal development, law of attraction, spiritual study, meditation, belief elimination, you name it. And I wasn't dabbling. My life was miserable. And so I was committed. Whatever said it was going to help me change things, I dove in with everything I had. And my life got worse and worse and worse until the seventh time I was ready. To, if I could have afforded a gun, I probably would have put it in my mouth. Uh, I was just ready to end it. I knew I was creating these seven disasters. I knew it beyond a shadow of a doubt and I had no idea how. And I had already tried everything I could find in self-help and personal development and just I knew more but I couldn't change it at the core. And then on January 3rd, 2011 I had an awakening experience that changed everything. I went from suicidal and desperate for 46 years to being emotionally free. And I went from being homeless and penniless and desperate to living the dream in Hawaii in less than 60 days. And I had had a gift my whole life of being able, since literally I was two years old, Natalie, I could look at a person and see exactly how they were holding themselves back, freaked everybody out around me, my, including my parents. You know, how, how, no kid can know this, no kid could do this, but I could tell people how they were holding themselves back and help them to snap out of it in minutes, ever since I was very little. And so when I had that awakening experience, it was pretty obvious. That's what I'm on the planet to do. And so it, since that time, I've worked directly with over 46,000 people, um, 83 countries. And bottom line is that what I'm hearing from people is the same thing over and over. I've spent hundreds of thousands or tens of thousands. I've spent years or decades trying everything. And somehow, a matter of minutes or an hour of exposure to Brian, and it just shifted completely and they're having not only immediate but lasting uh, breakthroughs so however I can help help your audience uh, with that with the time we have I'm ecstatic to help <laughs> I know because we have hardly any time um, yeah. alright so I've got a couple of questions that are coming up for me from that story okay. so you had your awakening in 2011 so what was how were you contributing to those seven disasters throughout your life Ah, beautiful. Well, the, the core was that I was always in denial of intuition. I always saw other people were into, intuitive, and I said it a thousand times, yeah, I'm just not intuitive. I and after meditating for about three months on the question, how is this me? How did I create this? I literally, Natalie, from morning until night for months, I couldn't make another dime and have it happen again. It was not an option. So I held this question, how is it me? And after three months of solid meditation, day and night, I realized that in each of the seven situations where it turned nasty, turned into a so-called disaster, miracle for me, of course, but it looked like a disaster at the time. In each one of those, there was a moment when I had clear, perfect guidance and intuition. Do not do this with this person. Do not trust this person. Do not take this action. And I denied it. I tuned it out and told myself I wasn't hearing it. But in that moment of revelation, I saw each of those seven moments when I did have the intuition and I tuned it out because of fear. Yeah. And yeah, I got it. Yeah, I, gradu okay. I graduated. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, that makes a lot of sense. Because I know I, I with uh, I know that with my story and, and with Glenn, like, you know, there are, we, we had 
probably 20 different businesses before we got into my movies of varying levels of success. You know, some worked, some didn't, up and down, whatever. Um, but, you know, there was a lesson that we learned in every single one of those, which has really helped us to hone our intuition to, as to what to look for the next time. So for you, you're, you're, what you were saying is you had this gift inside yourself, but, but and when it was coming up, you, you were kind of not following it. So how does this show up for you? Is it just like an idea? Is it just a voice in your head? Like how do you tap into this intuition? Well, it's now it's ever present. It's just 24-7. Right. I'm, I'm, I literally am channeling what other people would call channeling. I'm channeling 24-7 now. So I'm just accessing infinite intelligence and ever present guidance every second. And in, in simplest, simplest terms, that's what I'm helping everybody that comes into my field. If someone shows up for me, I instantly start helping them. And if they open the door and say, I'd like more, then we get to work right. <laughs> and really go all the way with it. Yeah. Right. And so what are you doing? Are you clearing their energy? Are you giving them practical tools on what, how they can apply and, and tap into their intuition? I'm doing both of those and I'm doing one thing that I so far haven't seen anybody else ever do and it's, it's, it's just the gift that I've had since I was two but now I have words and, and clarity for it. I actually help the person to make the total shift. Okay, We're all aware that the universe is energy and let's like you the listener be totally honest with yourself. You know by now the entire universe is energy. How many seconds out of your day do you live as if it was true? How many seconds a day do you live as if this is how the universe works? Nothing but energy. I don't mean just thoughts. I mean living your life from that place. How many businesses have completely made the transition to an energetic reality? So I help people shift that core central paradigm from I'm a meat suit in a machine to oh my God, I'm a, a being of light in an infinite sea of light with infinite possibilities, no past and no continuity other than what I think and believe that I know. If I let that crap go, I'm back in infinite possibilities on every topic instantly. Right, okay. So tell me some of the, um, some of the insights that you've had that you teach people that actually help them take them their life to a whole new level. And, and from, from what I'm gathering, when people start to work with you, their life is never going to be the same. Like they, it's like they're operating, like they were operating here, and it sounds like they start to operate from this level. It is literally true, um, and and so the, there are a couple insights. I'm doing energy work, as I say, I'm channeling, and I'm doing energy work 24/7 without even thinking about it or trying anymore. I, I would say that um, the key insight that I always start with is I I do this little model of okay, infinite unlimited being projecting out of eternity into time and space for one purpose only and that's to have experience. Not here to work out your freaking karma, that's a mental construct. Not here to work out finally getting close to God or clearing all your sin or whatever. Those are all mental concepts. Infinite unlimited being can't do anything or go anywhere because there's no time or space. You project into eternity, out of eternity into time and space to have an experience. So that, the minute we get that and it's easy to kind of think it, but I mean when we get it, we have this revelation that the only question that really matters is what do I want to experience now? If I'm here projecting out of eternity into time and space to have experience, then the only question and variations of this question, what do I want to experience now? So by helping people to start with that as their most simple transformational tool, here I am, oh my gosh, I just got the news from the doctor. What do I want to experience now? Oh my gosh, my partner just said they're leaving and taking half of everything. What would I like to experience now? Hey, I just won the lottery. So no matter whether good or bad, which we both know is illusion, mm -hmm. no matter what's happening, if we'll ask that question, what do I want to experience, and hold that question, it opens everything instantly. We're back in infinite, infinite possibilities, and reality dissolves. Right, and are you doing that through visualization? Uh, I would say yes. I'm, I'm basically helping people to go back into a state of perpetual visualization of what they want and experiencing, literally experiencing infinite possibilities rather than it being another mental idea. Right. Okay. So can you give me an example of someone that you've worked with, like a, like a specific case that you've worked with that's, you know, that they've actually completely changed their life? Oh, thank you for that question. I literally, that is one of my favorites. And I'll give you the first one that comes up is Erica Hooft. 
who um, she's in the Netherlands and she joined. I did a free workshop about six months ago. And I do these things called spell breaks. And on a spell break, I bring someone, whether I'm one-on-one, -on -one, I do one-on-one -on -one calls, group, and all these other programs. But on this workshop, we were doing a hangout, probably had 60 people from around the world on, and she stepped up for a spell break. And I helped her make a total transformation as far as her business life. That um, is uh, actually publicly available on YouTube now. And changed everything. And then she joined my program. She's now done two of my 90-day programs. Three weeks ago, we were on a group session. This lady has had scoliosis. Her life has transformed. Her relationships, her business has completely transformed and stayed that way. And she had had scoliosis for 30 years. And we were on a session, and I was taking everyone through a visualization, which I call the pattern of perfection which takes us back to the eternal, and then we transition gradually back into this place. And at the end of the session, recorded live with this huge group, her scoliosis was gone. And that's medically impossible. Yeah. It can't, can't be treated, can't be cured, okay? And, you know, I didn't say I healed it. I just said I was leading this group through, and at the end, so she, she made me one of the most incredible. I, I got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of testimonials. I kind of live on testimonials. Um, right. When I claim stuff like this, nobody's going to believe it, but when people see hundreds of testimonials, it's kind of hard to doubt, and so she made this incredible 10-minute testimonial. I still cry every time I watch it. This lady's life, her health, her business, her relationships, her marriage, her, she, they just um, bought this incredible home that they'd been wanting for years. It's it's amazing, and I, it's a thrill for me every time I get to touch somebody with this. Yeah, wow. And so, so I mean, this is one story, but it sounds like it's not just uh, you know business or not just life, but you're talking about health. You're talking about being able to clear people of, of any kind of challenge that they're facing in their life. It doesn't it doesn't matter. Everything that shows up in life, everything. I mean, we are in infinite possibilities infinite possibilities. It doesn't matter what it is. Scoliosis you know, is incurable. It's untreatable, right? Ask anybody. They'll tell you. Well, it was gone after an hour. Um, I've got a neighbor here with cancer. Didn't know the guy had cancer. He had just been telling me for three months, hey, let's sit down and talk. Let's sit down and talk. We sat down and talked. 30 minutes later after the crying was done, <laughs> he said, man, I, I had cancer. I came here. I moved here to Hawaii to heal this, and I've been waiting. I've been praying. Something told me I'd find someone that I could feel their energy without them having to physically touch me, and he said, man, that was an amazing experience. I'm like, you had cancer? What? I had no idea. The next morning, he called me, and it was gone. Again, I'm not saying I did that, but when someone shifts their core paradigm from meat suit in a machine, hmm. Newtonians, universe, almost all of us, Natalie, even those wise so-called among us, we're talking about the energy, but very few are living it, even a tiny fraction was possible. And when someone shifts the core of their paradigm to the energetic reality, I'm in a sea of information. I am a sea of information, undifferentiated from the rest of the sea of information, and I'm in a state of infinite grace. It's arising and passing away a septillion times per second with no continuity other than what I think and believe that I know. Then if I stop knowing this crap and I open to infinite possibilities, the impossible is possible no matter what the topic is. So people have, when they work with me, it's body, health, business, wealth, relationships, life, and their world changes. Right, wow. So how do you work with people? Do you do it online? I, I've heard you talking about live events. Like, How do you work with people? Yeah, I've, I've done a couple of live events. We're gearing up now. The audience is really growing, and we're getting ready to start hosting live events here in Hawaii, and I'll be speaking at a lot of events. Um, my, my book just came out, so that's growing the audience. What I've done up until now has been well, I do rarely one-on-one -on -one, um, hangouts where I just get on a video call with someone and I work with them, and it's literally – identical as if I were standing there or sitting with them physically. There's no di distance when you're talking about energy. Um, so I do one-on-one -on -one single calls rarely. The vast majority of people that I do a one-on-one -on -one with immediately wants to do 90 days. And so I do 90-day programs uh, for groups, group hangouts. We set up a private Google Plus community and put the people in there. A lot of bonuses, a lot of previous videos. And then I do live sessions every week for 90 days. And I have very limited um, space where I work one-on-one -on -one with people for 90 days. And it's the same. We meet for a hangout every week and just transition everything <laughs> that they want to shift. Right. So if someone wants to work with you and find out more, where can we send them, Brian? 
All right, well, the, my main website is level5mentoring.com, and we also have set up uh, level5mentoring.com forward slash inspiration <laughs> for your listeners uh, to be able to get access to a couple of really great freebies uh, that will introduce them to the information. So level5mentoring.com for anybody that really wants to understand and get the whole picture, and then level5mentoring.com forward slash inspiration if they want to access a couple freebies just for your listeners. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Brian. Um, so, guys, if you're watching this online, just click the banner to the side. And if you're watching this on the app, just click the banner underneath and it'll take you straight through to Brian's website. So, thanks again, Brian, for, for joining us today. And, and thank you for the work that you're doing. Like, I know that you have a pretty hefty goal. How many people are you wanting to reach around the world? Well, I, I, I got to answer this in a funny way. I do want to, and this mission was given to me like it was literally spoken inside of my body. 300 million people radically transformed by the end of 2017. Okay. Well, let's see how we can help you do that as well. So thanks again, Brian. I'm really so happy that you joined me today on the show. Thanks. I had a blast with you, Natalie. Awesome, awesome. So guys, I encourage you to share this video. Get this information out there. You can do, do that by clicking the Facebook and the Twitter share buttons on this page. Um, and make sure that you enter your emails um, in the box on this page so that I can send you the Manifesting with the Masters video e-course. It's actually valued at $87 and I'd love to send it to you for free. So until next time, remember to live large, choose courageously, and love without limits. We'll see you soon.